what's up guys? Anthony DiClemente here with my friend Tyler LeBaron of the Molecular Hydrogen Institute, and he just presented at the Regenerative Medicine Conference. But let me tell you the state of this man right now. He's fasted. He hasn't eaten in 24 hours. He ran 15 miles. <laughs> he presented at the Regenerative Medicine Conference, and he's about to do a one-arm pull-up for you guys. And in the process, teach all of us how to do it. So I am unable to do a one-arm pull-up. I've never tried. I actually just got interested in it yesterday. Ran into this man, and he's like, oh, I can do that. I'll show you how. So here we are. <laughs> so I, let's see. I mean, I, I'm pretty tired right now, so I might have to jump a little bit. And, and tell us a little bit, like, how did you even come to become interested in well, one-arm pull-ups? You know, I, so, so actually, seventh grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, we had this uh, competition for all of our, our class in, the, in PE, a pull-up competition. And so I was bowing out with the, with the teacher, and then and at the end, um, you know, I did like 15. He did, you know, just a little bit less than that. But anyway, it was it was pretty cool, right? And all, and all the kids were like, can, "Can you can you guys do like a one arm pull up?" You know? And I was like, "Oh my gosh, I never thought about that. That'd be so cool." And the teacher automatically was like, "No, that's impossible. It's anatomically impossible. The way the rotation of the body is." And you know, something was, like, didn't make sense about that. I'm like, you know, that doesn't quite make sense. I think if you're strong enough, you should be able to do it. You know what, I'm gonna do it. And so I decided I was gonna figure out how to do it and just keep on getting stronger until I, I, I was able to figure out how to do it. So we'll Where, see. Where'd you start? <laughs> yeah, so, so I, I started because I realized that people can do a lot of repetitions, you know, 30, 40, 50 pull-ups, you know, but they still, they should be strong enough to do that. And, 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 I, and I look at like a bench press, for example. People can go and they can bench press you know, say 225 pounds for, you know, 10 or 15 reps, but they can't even put up 315. So, so there's clearly something going on because other people can do 225 for maybe only, you know, eight reps and they can hit 315. So, there, so now I start to understand things better with the whole type two muscle fibers and, you know, being able to recruit that and be able to specialize that. That's so why I have like with your elite Olympic lifters, they, they typically go from that progression, you know, of doing like more of a hypertrophy building type thing and then a couple weeks in like the, the power stages eccentric. You know, sometimes they'll do no more than, they'll never do more reps than three reps for dur during a certain set because they want to make sure those muscle fibers and the, and the ones that can change the thing, the type the, 2 the X. The type 2 B. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're going to be, you know, at that level so they can just have the full strength, you know. And so I was like, okay, you know, I, I, so I worked on doing eccentrics. I worked on just pulling myself up. Because how, how do those people... You know, when they do just a single arm pull. -up. So when you're saying eccentrics for the people watching, yeah, like sure. you're just talking about coming up and basically like slowly lowering yourself down. That's right. Like, because a, that's, like a very slow negative. A very slow negative. And that, that's typically what people teach for people who can't do a pull up and want to do a pull up. Get on a stool, put yourself up there, hold yourself for as long as you can, and then slowly lay yourself down. And I was like, well, if that works for people who can do, you know, trying to do a two arm pull up, can't we use the same principles to do a one arm pull up? Right? Yeah. So I started doing Let's that. See it. And then I also started going. Uh, uh, <laughs> so it's just, right, so let's, let's show them. Then we'll show Give them the progression. people what let's they see, want. Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Them. Oh, whoa. Yes. Left handed. Oh, man. 24 hours fasted, okay. 15 miles under the belt. Andy Crush just talked to the Regenerative Medicine Conference. That right. was awesome. And your turn. I can not do that. I just became interested in this yesterday, so it's fortuitous that we like ran into yeah, each other and got cool. to hang out. So you said, would you start with a two-hand eccentric? Uh, well, for, yeah, well, well, I start with just one. So okay. for example, if I'm gonna He's do also this, a beast. If, I, if I'm gonna do this, you know, I'll, I'll just come up like this and hold it and just try to do that, wow. right? If you can't do that, that's okay. Then come here and just use one arm. See, I'm, I'm, Trying to just use, look, that's just one finger. Okay. Right? I got it, I got it. So and then, nice. same, same thing, maybe I can put this on. So, like, right here, we put this on, you know, some We're getting everything like, involved. So, I'm like, wait, <laughs> no, and I'd use this one too. So, they'll do the same thing, right? So, they'll come here, and then, like, oh, you really got that. Because I feel strong enough or whatever. Yeah. And then just try to, right? Oh. And then you can see, because you can actually, you might try, your try is going to be pretty strong, right? So, you can actually lower this, lower, lower, so you can't actually help more. Than what you really can, right? I like that. Yeah, so it, it, it takes a little bit of that human error element out of right. like, you know, you're using your fingers and maybe one day you're a little bit more tired, so you're pushing harder. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so people who can't do a pull up yet, you start with an eccentric two handed. So you're here, get in the chair, you come yep. up, and then real, real slow. 
once you build up, you're able to do, and we were just talking about people that can do regular pull-ups, about 30 plus, seem to have an easier transition to they, one They have pull-ups. enough strength. That's kind of like the base focus. level of strength. Like you gotta be able to do about 30 pull-ups with your own body weight to be able to do a one-arm pull-up, right? Good just pull-ups. As a, yeah, as a, as a metric. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the next level, which is with a little bit of assist from one hand, I'm gonna lower myself. So, and guys, this is day two, so. Be easy here. <laughs> I'm All right, so come over. Now just a couple fingers. And then look. And then come back up. So Ooh. like two fingers like that. And you just kind of take your time, build that, you know, that strength on the slow negative, and then gradually. Right. So exactly. We were going up to Tyler LeBaron and Carrie, who is behind the camera, but just crushed it like on his first attempt. No, I really did. I jumped. Here's another really critical one that I think is really important, and, yeah. and, it, and it's about speed. You've got to get speed. Eccentric, that's really slow down. It's really good, but you want to get high speed. So maybe we can take a look at this right here. Sure. And I think, I think these can be helpful. And you just do these popping pull-ups, right? So we just come up. Whoa, in a suit. And now, what is what is that developing, and how does because that translate? Because you are because you're activating your type two muscle fibers immensely. You know, I don't, I don't weigh a lot, you know, so right. so I'm not going to get much type two activation just here. But when you're speeding up, that fast motion is 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 critical to be able to get that higher level. So we see that like the type two B muscle fiber activation when you're doing like really really heavy stuff and really really explosive stuff, yeah, right? It's like explosive. basically like your creatine right. phosphate system. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's important too because it's not only that I'm going up fast, but when I grab the bar, it's also that jolt. And that does another, it's another level that you're activating. Can you so show them one more time what you have? Because that's sure. just impressive. Sure, so you just come up here. The man has a meat in the day. <laughs> and and if, you, if you really want to get clever, you try to do like two, two pots. Let's see, I don't know about, I'll, I'll see if I can. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it's Can't a do something to shoot for. So Tyler, we're gonna go record a podcast for everybody at the Biohacking Secrets Show. Make sure you subscribe on iTunes, check it out, it will be released soon. Everyone, Tyler LeBaron with the Molecular awesome. Hydrogen Institute. Great hanging out with you, bro. Looking forward to it. <laughs>